Hello. Um, so Pickpack have sent me some uh, questions to answer, so I'm going to attempt to do that for you. Uh, the first one is, how would you describe your style? And uh, I'm guessing this means my graphic style rather than my personal style. Um, my main interest is uh, lines, and colour, and how they interact to create um, interest in depth and, and movement. And really it's about how uh, humans interact with those uh, lines that I make and how they um, view these. And it's the, about the emotion that I can drag out of people via just using very, very simple, simple shapes. Um, the question two is, what do you like about Pitpack and what made you interested in the, product, uh, in the project? Um, I like, I, I love uh, things that are simple and I love things that have a kind of a usefulness to them. So when I saw, um, I, had, I have a shoe here, like I, I could prepared. Um, when I saw these online for the first time when, 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 when uh, Pitpack got in touch, I like the graphic quality about them. I really enjoyed the simplicity of them. I like the fact that everything um, has a function. So the, the laces that are made to put these shoes together become part of the, the decoration. And in many ways they they felt they felt like a version of one of my paintings but in the shoe form. Uh, number three, question number three is uh, what were your th first thoughts about the brand product and what do you think of it now when you actually have one of the pair of shoes here, here I have yeah, and having worked on the design. Um, I mentioned in, in the answer to the last question how I, I like the, the graphic quality of the shoes. The Having had a chance to actually make them up um, myself so to, to, to take the flat packed uh, shoe and make them up with the laces. And there's something about the, the way they, they, they come together and the, you, you have this very flat form and by, by actually um, using the laces to, to, in, to, to put the shoe together, this form suddenly becomes 3D and it's, and it's kind of really, it's, it's quite a strange uh, feeling when you're putting it together that suddenly this thing that was very flat suddenly turns into a shoe and I really, really enjoy that about it. Um, and I like the. I mean, as I say, I like I like anything that's uh, has a simple usefulness to it. So I think these do. Uh, how did you approach the design for the shoe? Uh, tell us about the design process. So, as I say, I like lines and simplicity. In this case, what I like to do is work as much as possible with the um, area and working off the, the shape that I'm given. So um, I, I use the, the existing lines, which are uh, from the, the, the kind of the chevrons uh, run along the side of the shoes to work off, uh, off against. And I wanted something that um, wouldn't interfere too much with the shoe, but would work um, in harmony with it, but at the same time create quite a, a distinctive look. What inspired the design? As I say, I love line. Um, I like line for the sake of it. So I, I usually don't draw uh, things. So I, you know, I don't draw like a, a bird or a, an apple. <laughs> um, they usually the lines themselves and the way they interact is the thing that I'm interested in and getting out the most amount of depth um, and and optical effect without actually um, uh, using perspective and stuff like that. So within my designs for this, there are elements of that, there are elements of how the lines interact, but also how, how they interact with the shoe as well to create, to, to um, emphasize that kind of effect as well. Um, how would you imagine, as a who would you imagine the person uh, who wears the super mundane pick pack uh, model of shoe? Um, when it came to designing the model, who was the wearer in mind, and what is the person like? Um, most of the things that I do, the person I have in mind is me. <laughs> it's not like kind of um, a, a 
self-centered thing but it's but if you start trying to overthink the um end end user then i think you can often water down what you um uh, you want to produce so when i imagine who the the user is um i don't know that's <laughs> the answer to that uh what do you think the three most important things about footwear uh comfort is very important um style and uh durability um what has been your favorite shoe in your life and why i have i actually still have my favorite shoe which is here sorry it's this clunky number and uh i like it because it looks i don't know if you have mr men um in Budapest, but um, it looks like the Mr. Noisy shoe, and I don't wear it anymore. But I, but I still have it, which says something about how much I love it. Um, what do you think your style and identity and the Pickback brand have in common? Um, I talked about simplicity. I talk, talked about the fact the graphic quality of the shoe, and that's something that I. <clears throat> I think it's been a really good marriage between my style and the style of the shoe. Uh, what is your favourite pick pack colour combination? I mean, personally, I like the, the bright colours, the ones with the, the kind of yellow sole. I think, it, it, you know, I, I put, if you look at my artwork, there's generally kind of very bright colours in there, uh, mixed with black. But I think, as, as a shoe, you might as well just try and try not to pretend to be <clears throat> an average shoe let's go for it and be as bright and bold as possible um, what are you passionate about besides your work um, if you could, I'm not going to spin the camera around but if you could see you'd see uh, lots of instruments in here and music is the uh, thing that I am very passionate about more than anything really it's this thing that's I've been passionate about all my life and I love it so much, really. Um, so I have many guitars, all of the which have a string missing, so it says something. And I've got lots of books in here as well, like um, literature and, uh, is another love of mine. Um, and I think that might be the answers to your questions. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>